Hey, my name is Philip Sace. I'm super excited to be here today. I'm playing with the Rabia Archetype by Neural DSP. We're here in Los Angeles at the amazing Station House Studio. My friend Mark Rains is here at the controls, and we're going to be playing. We're going to be having some fun and checking out the tones. Let's look into this. <laughs> tell you uh so what did we do there we we actually in that one we set up this paragon overdrive and uh, we got the drive at about what 11 o'clock or so and you know that feels really good under the fingers it feels like there's like real nice sustain there's a little bit of like an echoplex setting going with some of the delay that's happening here the atlas delay and uh it feels really nice under the hands and i gotta tell you i actually want to play some more so let's see what happens <laughs> So, all right, so we're gonna play uh, a little bit more with the purple amp here, and this time we're gonna incorporate the Colossus Fuzz. And, uh, you know, we've been dialing it in a little bit, and let's see what it sounds like. Let's have some fun. <laughs> So that's pretty cool too. You know, for me, some of the things that, that I do feel surprised about is the, sus is the sustain, you know, incredibly. It feels like there's an opportunity to actually get organic feedback. Is that a term, organic feedback? But it feels like it's feeding back almost as if there's an amp in the room that's like screaming loud. So yeah, to grab a note like that, like a low note such as this, kind of go like. I mean, that's pretty cool like and we are not screaming loud in this in this uh control room here so um that's a definite plus i really like that a lot and it feels nice as i've been saying it feels really nice under the hand but the the way that it sort of is almost like it blooms as the note goes which is a very natural tube type feeling it feels great i was thinking that uh maybe we could do a little bit with the octaver mark was Mark was doing this really cool thing earlier with turn clicking the octaver off and on. And it's not something that like is usually part of my tonal palette. Like I don't have an octave sub octave or, you know, I play with an Octavia, but this is like a different kind of octave sound. And Mark was clicking it in while I was playing and I was really enjoying it. I thought it was cool. So maybe we'll just try, just, just try something off the cuff and just see. I, there's like that sub sound that I thought was super yeah. cool. Like... Thank you. 
So I thought that was kind of cool. That's not like a sound that I usually play with. So it's like, um, it was pretty exciting when Mark pulled that up. I was like, man, that's cool. Let's keep that going. Um, and sort of like, it surprised me the amount of low end that was coming out of it. And I think just sort of like riding off the low E string and kind of playing around it, where I kind of get like a... I mean, it's cool. That's a fun sound. I mean, I'd be in here all day with that. And that was actually, that was combined with the Colossus Fuzz. Yeah. Or, yeah. So that was combined with the Colossus Fuzz. So it was like really, uh, really a lot of fun there. And then is there a slap going on on that too? Yeah, we got a slap. So the Atlas Delay Mark has dialed in a beautiful, uh, beautiful slap, which is really cool too. So that's a lot of fun sounds on this purple amp. That's for sure. So a little bit of a different sound here. And I think... Uh, Mark and I spent a little bit of time dialing in some clean tones and, you know, I'm pretty crazy about, about getting a real nice clean tone. And um, I don't use a compressor pedal in my own pedal board setup. You know, I just usually try to hit the amps hard and try to get some of that compression. And Mark was kind enough to dial in this twin blade dual compressor. Um, and we were kind of, you know, messing with the sounds for a while. And I was really impressed. I thought it felt really nice under the hands. We dialed in a little bit of room sound to give it some of that, you know, some vibe and some uh, just just kind of be in the be in that space with it. So yeah, let's try a little bit of this clean sound and uh, let's just play a little something and see. Mark, is this the one that we also had the overdrive on with it at the same yeah. time? So yeah, we dialed in a little bit of overdrive or Mark dialed in a little bit of overdrive here and uh, along with the compressor and tried to get like kind of a sparkly clean sound, which is what I really love to love to always try to get. So uh, let's try it and see. So, you know, it's kind of got like a real nice, I don't know, it feels like, it does, it really feels like an amplifier. I keep kind of looking over thinking, is that an amp in a room? It's a good sound. I really, I'm really digging it in here. Uh, a little bit more of this clean sound. Let's see. So that's a really cool sound too. I really like that a lot. It feels more like a twin reverb to me or something like that. And, um, and we've got that combined with a little bit of compression on there with the pedal and a little bit of overdrive too. And I'm rolling my volume back on the guitar, so I'm not full out. And again, I, I like that there's a nice sparkle to the sound, you know, that, that kind of thing where like a real clean, clean, especially with a Stratocaster, kind of a sparkly clean sound where I can get that. See where we go. Has it got 
any pedals on, or that's just the amp? There's no pedal, uh, or delay, it? but no, none of this. Do we end up doing overdrive on this one? What do we do? Man, that amp sounds cool. All right, so this one's called the Rhythm Amp, and uh, let's get into it. Let's see what we can get out of it. Well, that was fun. Um, again, what I'm surprised by is the way that the notes seem to blossom when you grab, particularly for me, what I'm finding on the on the wound strings, I'm really I'm really digging it. If you grab a note and kind of bend it, um, it seems to really go with you. There's like a a nice momentum feeling behind the behind the sound, and it it kind of feels like encouraging to like keep going. Let's get crazy, you know, like. <laughs> sound man that like that's that octave mm -hmm. oh yeah let's see a uh, chaos bed <laughs> chaos bed <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's wild. Uh, that's a that's a crazy pedal. All right, so let's hear a little bit more of this lead amp. We can call it the purple amp, but let's call it the lead. And uh, let's see. Um, let's see. What we get. I think we've got the overdrive going, and we've got a little bit of like an echoplex setting happening. So we got the Paragon overdrive and the Atlas delay happening here. Mark is dialed in a little echoplex style. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's like a car that you can drive really fast or something, you know, it's like a lot of fun to play with. So, uh, yeah, just another 
Just another example of combining some of the things that are all in the box here, a lot of fun. You know, I think that I certainly look to the tone a lot to feel inspired and to try things that, you know, aren't planned, you know, things that I haven't maybe played before. And I think a lot of times if the sound is really happening, uh, for me, my experience is that, um, yeah, I might play something that maybe, first of all, I've never thought of, but second of all, maybe I won't play again. So uh, I think what's what I'm experiencing today is that um, uh, I'm, I'm certainly feeling inspired and I'm feeling like uh, I can grab new things that I don't usually go for um, in my own rig, which is which is interesting. I'm definitely stimulated by this uh, by this experience and by these uh, these different amplifiers, three different amplifiers that we're trying and the effects that are all built in. So. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I'm playing right now, like I'd be playing at a gig live. And so uh, this feels really good. All right. So if I had to pick a favorite from the three amps, uh, it would be a difficult choice because each one of them offers a lot of joy, a lot of inspiration and fun. And um, but I think for today, what I'm hearing is with the rhythm amp, it really reminds me a lot of uh, of my super reverb and put my face right in front of it when it's like crank and and that's a good thing maybe with a tube screamer on it that's kind of pinned out as well um this feels like a lot of fun it feels very interactive with the guitar it feels great under the under the fingers and the hands but um just really responds well to these subtle adjustments of the volume and for me i like to try to adjust my volume a lot while i'm playing um just try to get certain notes to pop out more or maybe hang on to a note a little longer. And and this, you know, the rhythm amp seemed to really respond well to that. And Mark has dialed in the overdrive that's built in here to the amp, the Paragon overdrive. So it's kind of acting a little bit like a tube screamer, I guess you could say, or whatever your overdrive of choice is. And uh, let's play it a little bit. Just have some fun. Mm -hmm. 